Each week we collect content at our campuses uh, related to the service. So we live stream out to YouTube, we live stream out to Facebook, uh, but that content needs to be sometimes reposted to other locations. Uh, ever wonder how to do that? I'm gonna show you how. So an example of how we might need to use this process would be in our Mercy Hill and Espanol campus. Uh, they stream directly to Facebook and that is live in the moment, but we also stream an unlisted version to a YouTube channel. And then that version needs to be maybe cleaned up a little bit and reposted to multiple channels. I wanna show you how you can find that content the ways that you could download uh, the content and trim it and then certainly have it available to be uploaded elsewhere. So uh, let's take a look here at YouTube. So I'm just in the web browser and I've logged in under the In Espanol uh, account. If we tap up here on the icon, we can choose YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is going to take us to where we can manipulate the content for this channel. Over here on the left sidebar, we're going to choose Content. And you can see a few of the videos that are already available out here. They're listed as public um, because they've made the changes that they wanted. Um, we've also got some live content and this is uh, stuff that has been sent to the channel from a streamer. Um, it is, uh, if it were listed public, it could be available for anybody to view, um, even though it's live instead of uploaded. Um, but let's just say we wanna take what was produced live on Sunday and manipulate it a little bit for our needs. So I'm gonna come into the, um, uh, looks like Sunday, May 15th um, service. And if we hover over top of these three dots, it brings up the options. Then we can choose to download. And I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And it may take a few minutes for the download to occur. Uh, but once it's downloaded, we can make some edits. Also, you can see that it's currently listed as an unlisted video. If we liked how this video was from beginning to end, we could actually just highlight here choose public and publish, and that would publish the current video so that it's available on the website. Um, you may also want to go through and edit. Um, so if we tap the little pencil there with details, we can edit to give it a new title, a description, upload a thumbnail, and then even add it to a playlist. Um, so there's all this stuff that we could do, certainly to prepare this video to be more public facing. Um, but that would all happen right here in this menu. Now I'm gonna pause uh, the recording while this download happens and then we're gonna take a look at how we might be able to edit that video. All right, so the download is gonna take forever and instead of waiting for that download, I wanna just show you some of the editing tools that you can have uh, available to you and we'll just use a different video as an example. So I'm gonna bring up here this um, announcement video we did a few weeks back and let me see if I can get it all up in the frame here for you. Um, close enough, all right. Um, if I were to play back this video, you can see we've got some here. Um, but let's say I want to trim this video to just a certain section of what's available here. Uh, you can hit Command T for trim, or we can go up into your, um, your edit menu at the very top and just choose trim. Um, so when we do that, it brings up this new tool. Um, now this new tool actually shows the entire video and you can play it back from here. And you Significant way, then the move uh, across the bottom as, as we go, it happens to be right here. But we can also trim this. So I'm gonna drag this to a certain point. And let's say we want um, uh, everything related to this Weekender announcement. So I'm gonna find the perfect spot here at the beginning as a beginning point. And then I'm gonna find a spot here at the end where they're holding up the other card. And we'll say that's our end point. And then once we've selected those items, uh, we can, over here to the right side, choose the trim button. Now what you see is actually a shorter version of the video. It's only the 22 seconds that we trimmed out. And we could play it from here if we wanted to, to see um, what the results might be. Uh, but what, um, what we need to do next is actually go to the uh, file menu and we're just gonna choose export as and then 1080p. Um, I know you can't see that on the screen. I apologize, the screen recording didn't grab that, that portion, but when we tell it to export as 1080p, it's gonna send us that resolution um, to a file and we can choose where to put that file. And I'm just gonna throw it out here in my downloads folder. We can name it um, just a trimmed example, that's fine. 
And um, let's change the file si uh, type to greater compatibility and choose save. Now this may take a moment for it to save. Once it's done, we can go ahead and close out the video. Uh, we don't need to save again because we already saved the version that we needed. So I'm just gonna get rid of what we had done there. And uh, now you have the opportunity of uploading that content to your YouTube channel. So in YouTube, you're gonna choose create and upload videos. Uh, again, make sure that you're on the proper channel that you wanna upload it to. We would select the files and I could come into my downloads, find the trimmed example, hit open, and it starts uploading that for us. Once we've chosen that option, we can then um, go ahead and create some titling. Um, so I'm just gonna tell it to delete me um, after the video. And uh, this is simply an example. So we'll delete this off of there eventually. And if you had a, a thumbnail to upload, you would choose this option to upload your thumbnail. If you wanted to add it to a playlist, we can go and choose a playlist. Uh, this particular channel doesn't have any playlists, but we could create one if we wanted to. Um, and just fill out the information. You follow through um, as you see fit. It gives you the option of adding various items to your video on YouTube. This is all general stuff. I'm gonna choose next, and in this case, I'm just gonna choose private because I don't need anybody else to be able to see this video, being that it's just a temporary um, te training video. But if you wanted, you could unlist it or go public and choose the options that work best for you there and save. Now that video is gonna be uploading and it may be available, um, and since it's so short, it may be available right away, which it looks like it is. Uh, we could then come through and edit more details if we wanted to. We could choose this options button and get a shareable link. We could even view this video out on YouTube, um, but this gives us the option to do a whole lot more with this video. Now in a case like this where I didn't really need the trimmed video and this was simply an example, I'm gonna to wanna to delete this. So I'm gonna highlight just the one line, make sure it is just the one. We can choose more actions and delete forever. Uh, this is a way that we can eliminate something off of YouTube that we never wanted there to begin with. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit delete and it will take a minute for it to delete. Hopefully that shows you enough about how to navigate around the YouTube interface to take a live streamed video um, and repost it, download it um, to your computer and edit it. Uh, we used QuickTime Player for the editing, but there may be other editors you could use. And then how to re-upload that edited video back to YouTube, or if you wanted to find another destination for it, you could upload it there as well. Hopefully that helps. Uh, check back for other content and leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching.